Did you know that when vascular plants like trees evolved and grew into the first forests on Earth about 360 million years ago during the Carboniferous period, it was because they had evolved a structural compound known as lignin, which allowed them to grow to great heights, and then the hot CO2-rich atmosphere back then allowed them to thrive with such vigor that the amount of oxygen they produced significantly cooled the planet to one closer to what we experience today, leading to the collapse of those very same rainforests. And then at the same time, there weren't any decomposers capable of breaking down that new structural lignin, so when those forests died and fell into swamps and waterways, they were fossilized to become the coal that we use as an energy source today. And since then, white rot fungi species that specialize in breaking down that lignin have evolved, so when plants and trees today die and fall over, they fully decay, meaning that coal production on Earth and the carbon it stores has more or less stopped since then. And when we burn those rich stores of carbon embedded in coal or other fossil fuels, we release that CO2 that those carboniferous forests stored, rapidly changing our planet from the cool, hospitable one that life as we know it today has evolved to call home into one that is much hotter, wetter, and inhospitable to that same type of life. Life. These changes we're creating are happening at a rate that only species of bacteria and fungi are able to adapt to, meaning that we are on the cusp of an extinction event that has the potential to wipe out plants and animals of all sizes. And when it comes to extinction events of this nature, big energy and resource intensive critters like humans are one of many who don't survive, which kind of makes you think about doing things differently, don't you think?